Okay, guys, so this is going to be a really quick video on how to change your sky and HDRI inside of Twin Motion. So we're not going to waste any time here. So the first thing we need to do is head over to the Ambience tab. And if you look down under Environment, the ENV, there's a few ways that you can go ahead and manipulate your sky here. We have a very easy one, which is the sun offset position here. So you can see moving this around gives us instantly a beautiful different look and we also have the time of day here and this is another one that we can change to you know, kind of easily switch that look up a bit and if we head on down a little bit down below under location again under the sun offset position we're going to move that again just a bit we also have the month that we can change here and just changing this gives us a lot of options here moving that position of that sun as well so one of the other things that we can do is we can enable an actual HDRI here. And there's a couple ways that you can access these HDRIs. We have HDRI environments here under the library tab, as well as under the HDRI preview, you can go ahead and right click the image there and go to library. And it will take you directly over to these different HDRIs. And if you just have a look through here, we have all kinds of different ones to search through here. So what we'll do is we'll just pick one and let that download for just a second. Uh, let's go with the, let's go with the red starlight hill here. And once that has loaded up, we can simply just go over to grab the HDRI here. And we just simply want to drag and drop it into our scene. And we will get the prompt for the object creation. And we just need to give that a second. And as you see, we have that HDRI inside of our scene now. And there's a few ways that we can kind of manipulate this here. As you see, we have the Sky Dome as well as the Backdrop HDRI. So let's head over to the Sky Dome set here. I'm just going to bring up this intensity a bit. And you can change that rotation as you see to kind of position and maneuver your scene into different places here. Quickly give yourself a different look to bring the intensity down just a bit and let me head over to the camera tab here and we're just going to turn up our white balance just a bit and under the details tab here we have a few settings that we can configure as well as the HDRI effects the lighting as you can see you can turn that off here and kind of have those things separate if they match the sun as well and when you select this, the shadows are based on the position of the sun in the high dynamic range. So you see taking that out. And as well as just the height fog effect. And you just kind of play with this as needed. So as you can see, it's really simple to get different looks inside of your scene with the HDRIs and the sky positioning here. And that's it for this one. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button, as well as click that notification bell to stay up to date with all of our tutorials on your favorite 3D softwares. So as always, until next time, take care of yourselves and each other.